It was a long trip, all the way from the nation's capital across the country and back to Canada Games Plaza. From there, it traveled the final 10 kilometers to the CN Center, where the opening ceremonies were set to take place. Each team had a lantern carrier, symbolically lighting the path for teammates on their journey to Prince George. Several onlookers gathered at Games Plaza to watch the ceremonies and take in all the games had to offer. I'm blown away actually, quite, it's quite, quite awesome. A little bit of music and uh, lots of happy people. The town was pretty dead up until today and now there's a lot of people which makes it a bit more fun. Pretty excited, yes we are pretty, she's actually volunteering as well, we're doing uh, ticket taking at the Kin Centre and Fiji Golf and Curling Club. The MLA for Prince George Valmont, Shirley Bond and former Mayor Don Rogers were torchbearers leading up to the ceremonies and spoke of the journey to this point. So for us it was a, a journey to get to the place where they said yes you can do it and today we're showing uh, the entire country that that this is uh, that it's not only possible but we're going to do a fantastic job of it. It became very much community owned and the community got behind it and those that were reviewing the applications and the, the bids saw that Prince George, the entire community and in fact the north, we had leaders from across the north that endorsed our bid. They were behind this. It was a community owned initiative. It wasn't just driven by a few people within the city. As the host province, Team BC entered the CN Centre last with hockey player Micah Hart leading 250 athletes into the centre. Premier Christy Clark offered the athletes bonne chance. Felicitations, bonne chance, good luck, congratulations and once again welcome to the 25th Canada Winter Games here in Prince George, British Columbia. 1973 Summer Games alumni Louis Pasaglia, North American Indigenous Games gold medal winner Trent Seymour, youth athlete and member of the Athlete Advisory Committee Morgan Coyne, and Host Society Chair Anthony Everett were the final torch bearers. Local wheelchair athlete Avril Harris led the oath. In the name of all competitors, I pledge that we will take part in the Games in the true spirit of fair play. And the Games were officially underway. I now declare the 2015 Prince George Canada Winter Games officially open. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.